change is not led by a group, an organisation or a government. It's led by individuals who are passionate about what they do. Being uncomfortable for a little bit though is nothing compared to the people we're helping and the people that are going to benefit from Young Care. When we remove them from those distractions, I call them, and bring them out into this magnificent place in the middle of Australia, um, they're there in the moment with the people that are there with them and they become um, much more uh, engaged with the people around them. They listen uh, much more deeply into what people are saying and, and um, it, it's, it's just sort of uplifting. For some reason, this particular uh, Simpson Desert, everyone's got very profound uh, stories that linked directly to the mission. And there's been um, a lot of emotion around the fire. It's been a good emotion. And um, what it does for me personally is just fires me up to continue to want to support young care. But I think what it also has done is around here, it's confirmed that there's all these foot soldiers that are going to be going out supporting young care for the rest of their lives. Every now and then you kick your toes and you come over the sand dune and then all you can see is a whole another plane of it. So you know you just have to keep going one step at a time. It's been one of the toughest challenges mentally and physically I've ever experienced in my life. And this feeling of having got through this with this incredible team is just words can't really do it justice how it feels to be here. You spend a fair bit of time just walking along by yourself and you think about life a little bit and think about your wife and the kids. We are now Young Care's foot soldiers and we'll continue on to spread the important word and the mission of Young Care.